Hello everyone, this is Sanjay Parashar. Welcome back to the channel. And today we will be talking about the loops in Oracle SOA 12C. Majorly there are three activities that we can use to perform different sort of looping based on the business logic. We have for each, we have while and repeat until. So today we will be talking about while activity to perform a loop operation. However, in subsequent tutorials, we will be talking about repeat until also for each and we will also tell you what is the difference between these looping strategies and these activities and when to use which sort of looping. We will be covering all of that in subsequent tutorials. So today we will talk about while loop. So let's start the demo. So we'll create a new SOA project here. So I'm going to fast forward this because we have created SOA projects and XSDs in almost all the previous tutorials. So I'm just going to fast forward this to save your time. So friends, till now I have created a project while loop demo and I have created this XSD where we want user to give us a counter which is of integer type and we will return some dummy string. So we are going to create a very simple POC proof of concept sort of thing. We will not execute any business logic as such. We will just understand the concept how while loop works and then depending on your project and on your business logic you can utilize this activity so let's start the development i will use a synchronous people process and we'll use the xsd that i have created and now i will create a temporary counter variable for me which I can use as a condition in while loop you will see in a minute. So let's just first create a temp variable. I want that to be of a string of an integer type. And now from the components under the structured activities we have this while all other loops also are under the structured activities which we will be covering in subsequent tutorials so here in this condition we want to give a condition the moment that condition fulfills it starts the loop it will execute the body of this while loop if the condition kept on fulfilling so our idea is that we want to once our business logic is executed once what we desire has been completed we want to break this loop so what we can do here is so whatever user gives me if that is not equal to my counter variable then execute this loop whatever that is there just execute that so let me initialize the variable that I have created so you can start it with 0 or 1 so for I am just starting it with 1 and here let me just assign incremental value so I want to increment after every loop I want to increment my counter variable that I have created and to do that I can just plus one this those who have been working as a Java developer this thing is very easy to them they know what it is it just in Java we have do while and while and here we have while and repeat until so click on OK 
and let me assign some output also and in output I just want to give how many loops have been executed So total whatever my final number will be loops have been executed I'll click on OK apply OK and I think I can simply deploy this but I want you guys to understand what we just did so that you can use this activity use this concept to fulfill the requirement that you have in your project. So suppose user will give us three as an input and we have started our counter variable with one so in this condition it will say 3 is not equals to 1 which is of course true so it will go inside this loop until this condition keeps on satisfying we will the body of this particular loop will keep on executing so we are incrementing it by 1 so in first loop the condition will be 3 is not equals to 1 then 3 is not equals to 2 and in the third iteration it will say 3 is not equals to 3 which is false then it will come out of the loop and it will execute this condition so let's deploy it and test it so our service has been successfully deployed so let's test it so this is our service and as the example I gave you with 3 so let's keep it 3 we'll test it and as the output says total 3 loops have been executed so if we check the flow trace also the compiler will go in that fashion only that I described so we received 3 we initiated our variable with 1 and here it checks the condition 3 is not equals to 1 which is true and it incremented then again it checked and it incremented and at this increment it became 3 so that means next condition will not be fulfilled the moment next condition did not fulfill this body was not executed so it came out as false because our counter variable is also 3 now and here we executed this line and we got that as a response so this was a very simplified example for you guys to understand how the while activity works so in our next tutorial I will describe about repeat until which is somewhere similar to while only but there is certain difference and something that repeat until can do while cannot do and recently I have been in such a situation where I had to use repeat until to fulfill the requirement I will share that scenario with you guys in my next tutorial this is it for today you take good care of yourself and have a nice rest of the day take care bye bye